Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Task Automation Tutorial. As you all know, I have already published 36 YouTube videos in terms of overall Tricentis Task concepts and I have published 21 YouTube videos in terms of advanced level concepts. This is our lesson 37 in terms of Tricentis Task Automation concepts and this is our lesson 22 in terms of advanced level concepts. In this lesson, I am going to teach you how can you perform drag and drop operations by using Tricentis Task. We are going to take one obstacle where we need to drag some of the records from your first web table and drop them into your second web table. I am going to use repetition method while performing drag and drop operations during web application automation. So, in this lesson, what we are going to do? We are going to perform drag and drop operation by using two web tables. The first one is you have first web table called to do tasks, and then you have another web table called completed tasks. And we are going to drag and drop all the tasks from to do table to completed tasks table. And while doing this, we are going to use drag and drop operations, also repetition property at folder level to achieve this. And following is the URL that we are going to use to perform this particular automation. Let us first understand what is the challenge that we have or what is the obstacle that we have and then how can we automate this particular challenge by using Tricentis Task. If you see on the screen, this is your to-do task. This is one web table and this is your completed task. This is another web table. So let us assume I completed my task 1 with the ID 1. So I need to drag and drop into completed task web table. And I need to drag the second task onto completed tasks. I need to drag third task onto completed task. So this way I need to drag and drop all the rows of to do tasks to the completed task. So how I am dragging and dropping? I am dragging and dropping in the order of sequence. ID sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right? That's what I am going to perform. So now how can you do this particular scenario? How can you perform this particular scenario by using Tricentis Tosca? So let us go to Tricentis Tosca. What I am going to do here, first I want to create a new module. So for that, let me scan the module. Okay. Let's go to modules, right click, scan the application. So this, this is the application that I would like to scan. Okay, click on scan. And here if you see, these two are the tables. To do task is one table. Let's highlight this. Okay. Yes, this is the one. And the other one is completed tasks. This is another web table. See, it is highlighting. So that means these two are the tables. And I'm going to name this module as obstacle. Okay, copy this and name this module as obstacle, whatever the obstacle number. And now, so here I would like to make small change to the completed tasks. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take the property called class name. Instead of ID, I'm going to take property called out, outer text and then I'll just make sure that I'll remove all these. I'm going to introduce a regular expression. ID task assignee. These are the columns and then whatever it might be. So if you enter the table uh, data, then you will have a lot of uh, text after assignee. So I'm just introducing a regular expression. Okay. And now, Oh, let me see. I think it is not uniquely identifying. That's okay. Not a problem. Okay. So now let me save this particular 
test case. So before save, let me make sure one more time. Okay, tasks, table, assignee. Yeah, make it unique. What we'll do is making unique by using. Okay, uh, by using default name. That's okay. Let's keep this. Okay. Now save this. So as soon as I save it, so this will be saved as a new module in Tricentis Tosca. So this is what we saved just now, right? So now I want to create a new folder here in the exercise. Let me create a new folder called drag and drop. Drag and drop. And here I'll create a new test case called drag drop operations. Now, let me drag this particular module to my test case. Here, what I'm going to do, what is the column that we are actually dragging? We are using the column called ID. So that's why I'm going to select the column ID here. And before I do this, right, I need to use the repetition. Why? Because I need to drag the rows in the sequence of ID 1, 2, 3, 4. These are all not, not in sequence. So these are all actually randomly placed, right? So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one folder here. Under this test case, I'll create one folder. Right click and then create one folder called repetition. Sorry, I created something. Control Z. Right click and create create a folder. Right click and create a folder. I'm gonna name this as a repetition. Okay. Now I want to drag and drop this entire test case into repetition folder. So if you see here under repetition, so I'm just uh, moving the module aside so that you can see. How can I define the repetition folder? Okay. I want to define this folder repetition as six because I have six rows to drag and drop. So I'm going to define the repetition property for this folder as six. Okay. Now, here, as I told you, I select the column ID and I need to drag. 1 now. So instead of dragging 1, I want to use the repetition property. Copy this and here open curly braces, repetition, close curly braces. The cell value, what happens first, it comes as 1. Now I want to drag close curly braces and here it is input instead of verify so what i'm doing here for the first time it comes as one and under repetition and then i'm dragging the particular cell okay under column id that is done and now i want to drop onto this table correct so now i want to simply drop i don't want to consider any row here. I just need to drop onto the table. That's why I'm going to simply use drop method. Drop open curly braces and close curly braces. Right? So now let us understand one more time. What I'm doing here, first I selected the column ID and that column, what is the cell that I want to select? First, I want to select one. That's why I'm using the repetition method here. Starts with one and it ends with six. So the same I'm calling here repetition and I'm dragging that row and then I'm dropping onto table. Right? So now let us run the test case and see if Tasca can drag and drop all these rows to the completed tasks. 
Okay, let me right click and run. We will debug if we have any issues. Okay. So it should pick up the last row because the repetition comes as one. It pick up the last row, but somehow it is not dropping into completed. Let's see what is the failure. Here the failure says the failure says could not complete could not find a table. It says could not find table. Okay, let's see here. What we are missed. Okay, so basically one thing here, what we are one mistake is here. I'm actually selecting I'm not selecting as input here. So let me select as input and try one more time. Okay, let's try this one more time. Okay. So now right click and run in scratch book. Let me bring so now it should pick up one the last row and drop into completed tasks. Yes, it is dropping and it should pick up two because the repetition folder sends repetition value as two and then three and then four right so it is dragging and dropping all the rows from to do tasks to the completed tasks so our obstacle is successful so we solve the automation problem by using task up so what we are doing here we are actually dragging and dropping all the rows from one web table to the another web table by using repetition operation. So if you have any queries, leave your queries in the comment box. I'll try to respond to your queries. So you all understand how can you perform drag and drop operations while automating your web application by using Tricentis Tosca. And also know now how can you use the repetition method Tricent is task. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you.